Okay, now let us do question number B, in which we have to convert into fractions in its lowest term. Now, uh, first you will write the decimal number here. It is 7.35. First step, remove the decimal number and write the number as the numerator. So, 7.35 after removing the decimal, you will write it as 735. Then in the denominator, you will write 1. After that, count the number of digits after decimal. So, after decimal, we have two digits. One is 3, the other one is 5. Two digits are there. So, place two zeros to the right side of 1. So, you have converted this decimal into fraction. Now, convert this into lowest term by dividing it by a common factor. Now, you already know the divisibility rule. Now, here 5 is at the unit place. Here it is 0. It means they are exactly divisible by 5. So, when we divide this by 5, 5, 1 is 5. 5, 4s are 20. 5, 7s are 35. Now, here 5, 2s are 10. And then this 0. Okay. So, now we have 147 as the numerator and 20 as the denominator. Now, they don't have a common factor. This is exactly divisible by 5 and 10. It is not exactly divisible by 5 and 10 because the unit base is not 5 or 0. So, the 7.35 in its lowest term will be 147 upon 20. So, this is the answer. Let us do one more question. 4.6 here is the number. Apply the same rule here. First, remove the decimal sign and write the number as the numerator. This is 46. Then, on the denominator, in the denominator, write 1. Now, count the number of digits after the decimal. It has only one digit after the decimal. So, you will put only one zero. Now, you have to reduce this into its lowest term. Now, divide this with a common factor. In a common factor, you have uh, already studied the divisibility rule. So, it can be divided by 2. 2 twos are 4. 2 threes are 6. This is 2 fives are 10. Now, we have 5 as the prime number and 23. So, they don't have a common factor. So, answer of 4.6 in its lowest term, 23 upon 5. I hope you can solve now the decimal number into its lowest form in fractions.